madam a very warm welcome to my ibs project food habits of animals as we need food to live and grow animals do need food to live and grow but do all the animals have same food habits no different animals have different food habits with the help of this project i will explain you what do different animals eat and how they are divided into different types on the basis of their food habits Animals like cows, goats, sheep, elephants, zebra, buffaloes, etc. eat plants, grass, fruit, nut, and root. They only eat plants. Therefore, they are called herbivorous. Herb means plant, and vorous means eater. Herbivorous animals have sharp front teeth to cut the leaves or grass, and back teeth to grind and chew. Moving on to the next category, carnivorous. Carn means flesh, and vorous means eater. Animals like lion, tiger, wild cat, etc. eat flesh of other animals. They only eat flesh. Therefore, they are called carnivorous. Carnivorous animals have sharp side teeth to tear the flesh of other animals. Now, let's talk about those animals who depend on plants as well as flesh of other animals for their food. For example, crow, peacock, human being, fox, bear, etc. eat plants as well as flesh of other animals. Therefore, they are called omnivorous. Omni means all, and vorous means eater. Apart from these three initial categories, there are scavengers and parasites too. Scavengers are those animals who depend on dead bodies for their food. For example, vulture, eagle, hyena, kite, etc. Now let's talk about parasites. Parasites are those animals who depend on living organism for their food. For example, mosquito. Mosquito pierces on the body of living organism and sucks the blood with the help of nail-like mouth part and get the nutrition. Worms are also parasites. Parasites are pretty dangerous as they are in and around us. So we have seen the food habits of animals. Now you must be thinking, why it is important to know about the food habits of animals? I will tell you. Knowing the food habits of animals will help us to take essential steps. to maintain the ecological balance i hope you like my project and thank you so much for listening so patiently thank you once again